I am so excited for today's video, which is all about science, all the resources, and the curriculum that we will be using for science. For our homeschool, we do science all together, so I do consider it to be um, a family subject. And this year is the first year where we are taking more of a structured approach to science. We're actually going to use a curriculum. If this is like your first introduction to my channel, like the first video you're seeing from me, I'm Jasmine. I'm homeschool mom too for boys. And this upcoming school year, I will have a fourth grader, a kindergartner, a Todd schooler and a I have a baby who is about seven months old so just to show you like the age range um that I am working with this upcoming school year I wanted our science this year to be a little bit more structured but still not um not from a workbook science is actually one of the subjects where i'm trying to hold off on using workbooks for that as long as i can although i still may seek out something for those times when maybe we just can't get around to doing um what i have picked out here but um i wanted it to be a little more a little bit more structured but still have like that um nature aspect to it i still wanted to have it be to where to where we have a curriculum as a spine for that subject but then we still have room in that curriculum to branch off into different topics and that's exactly what i feel like i found with Idlewild and Company's Organic Studies. In short, much like the excitement I have to jump into um, their art studies curriculum this upcoming school year, I am just as excited to jump into their organic and word studies curriculum for this upcoming school year. And I will um, give you guys a look inside. However, I will save that for a separate video just because I want to be mindful of how long I'm making this video. And I don't want you guys to have to skip around if you're not wanting to see like a detailed flip through of the curriculum. So separate video link down in the description box for you if you want to check that out. So for science, we are going to be using Idlewild and Company's organic studies along with Idlewild and Company's word studies. First off, this is a nature-based type of science uh, curriculum. They have like a, um, a nature approach to the topic. We are going to be studying a very wide range of topics, which I love. But then I also love how it is um, alphabet based too. So we have unit A, B, C, D, and each, it goes all the way to Z. And so each topic starts with that letter. And so it'll be reinforcement for my kindergartner. He is going through that process of learning how to read. And then it can be an introduction for my two-year-old, my top schooler, two letters and letter sounds and, and things like that. So I like how there's different elements that they'll be getting from this curriculum as we study this together. So our book list for this curriculum is going to be Nature Anatomy, Ocean Anatomy by Julia Rothman. Uh, we have Animal, Ocean, and Space, as well as Trees, Leaves, Flowers, and Seeds, and Super Earth Encyclopedia. Uh, the Book of Brilliant Bugs, Underwater, Under Earth. This book is really cool. Uh, my Book of Rocks and Minerals, Things to Find, Collect, and Treasure. Curiosity, Natural World, A Visual Compendium of Wonders from Nature. This book is beautiful. Seriously. Um, quick flip through just because it's so pretty. <laughs> Um, but moving on, we also have uh, Geography from A to Z, National Parks of the USA, and Insects, A Golden Guide from St. Martin's Press. Now, the other thing about this curriculum, too, is the fact that it is by itself, like the organic studies by itself. It's a secular curriculum. However, if you buy the word studies with it, this is the Bible portion that you can add into your science curriculum. And lastly, School Nest Science Notebook. Um, just to make it more fun, I let him pick out the colors of his school nest notebooks. He has one for history as well. I do have that video on the way for you guys too, but 
if you saw my kindergarten curriculum video, it is the same format. So they have like this empty space here. They can write here and then they have like a little bullet um, style sheet over here. He has already started using it. Um, much like I'm doing with my kindergartner, this is going to act sort of as like um, where he will put the things that um, he has enjoyed learning about the most. So we'll cover our topics for those those times that we sit down and we do science. And then I'm going to have him to notebook about, you know, whatever he found to be most interesting or whatever the case may be. But this is going to be more so like um, a compilation book of all the things in science that he found interesting from his fourth grade year. If this curriculum is something that you maybe want to try for your homeschool, um, it looks good. It looks like a, it looks like it will be a good fit for you guys. I actually have a um, a discount code for you, Jasmine Ten. I will leave it down in the description box. I will put it here on the screen for you, and you can hop over to Idlewild and Company's website and you can check out that curriculum for yourself. Um, I will also leave down in the description box, as promised, a detailed flip through of both the organic studies and the word study so you can see how the two work together. You can see um, the table of contents and a look at some of the week's lessons from both of those um, curriculum books. So that is all for um, our science curriculum and resources besides reading a ton of books and just kind of taking things as they come. As far as if the kids like have a, a science, science -y type question and we choose to explore and things like that we'll explore but other than that we will be using this curriculum and resources for the upcoming school year thank you guys so much for watching if you're not yet subscribed then please hit that red subscribe button and the thumbs up thank you so much